County Attorney's Office tells us prosecutors have received over 400 felony cases involving motor vehicles in just the last two weeks. That's a big number, and it's putting a strain on an already overwhelmed agency impacted by staffing shortages. And in some instances, that onslaught of cases might mean a longer wait for victims to get justice. Team 12's Adriana Loya is sitting down with County Attorney Rachel Mitchell about the difficulties the agency is facing and what they're doing about it. Adriana. Well, guys, County Attorney Rachel Mitchell telling us not all cases are the same, so some may take longer to prosecute than others. But one thing is true across the entire justice system, not enough experienced people to handle the caseload. It wasn't something I should have seen that day. When the light turned green, of course, I looked, I looked, and the next thing I know, I'm laying on the pavement. Two families with similar stories, their lives changed by suspected drunk drivers. We're stuck until we know for sure what the DA is going to do. 15 months, it makes me sad. Families speaking with 12 News about their concerns on how the justice system is handling their cases, specifically why these two separate suspects have not been formally charged by the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Ethically, we're, we're forbidden from talking too much about a case. County Attorney Rachel Mitchell says she can't comment on these specific cases, but says drunk driving and motor vehicle crimes, including serious injuries or deaths, are always complex cases that can take time to investigate. She sat down with 12 News to address her office's backlog in cases that worsen during the pandemic. Right now, pending trial, my office has 187 cases involving aggravated assaults with a vehicle or manslaughter with a vehicle. That's a lot. She says the agency is experiencing an influx of criminal cases submitted to their office, including more than 400 new cases involving vehicular crimes just in the last two weeks, all those overseen by a small team of just 15 attorneys. But the pandemic and the staffing shortages and court closures it brought created a backlog of cases across the courts. We do have a policy that says 30 days. In today's world where we're having such a massive onslaught of cases, it's sometimes hard to get to in 30 days. Very hard. Mitchell says they have hired new attorneys to focus just on charging cases to help with the backlog. We are working very hard to address all of this, but it will take some time. Welcome news for Kimberly Perro who lost her left leg to a suspected drunk driver 15 months ago. I was I was pleased with them reaching out to me, and it's a, a good thing moving forward. Still a tough wait for Belinda Welch, whose son Jeremiah lost both legs to a different suspected drunk driver in June. The system is just not working for the victims. Adriana Loya, 12 News.